Hi, in this short video tutorial I'll explain you how to connect temperature and humidity sensor to OpenHAP2 using the machine to machine protocol MQTT. OpenHAP is a popular open source home automation software. It's written in Java and the second version is based on Eclipse Smart Home Framework. It is compatible with GNU Linux distributions, Mac OS and Windows which means you can install it on any personal computer or even single board computer like Raspberry Pi. MQTT is a machine-to-machine -machine connectivity protocol that provides real-time publish subscribe transport of messages via an MQTT broker. If you're new to this protocol have a look at my other video that I published a few years ago. It provides a quick introduction to the protocol. In this video tutorial I'll be using Anavi Thermometer. It is an ESP8266 powered open source Wi-Fi development board with built-in temperature and humidity sensor DHT22. The board has been designed by me using the open source software KiCad. I have published the firmware as an Arduino sketch in GitHub which means that you can use it with any other Arduino compatible board with Wi-Fi. There are a few pre-requirements to follow this tutorial. You need to install OpenHAP2 as well as MQTT Broker, such as Mosquito. You need to configure Anavi Thermometer by flashing it with the latest open source firmware available for it and connect it to your Wi-Fi network and to your MQTT Broker. I have already installed OpenHAP2 and the MQTT Broker Mosquito on this Raspberry Pi Zero W. Open the web interface of OpenHAP2 and click on Paper UI. After that, select Add-ons and go to Bindings. Find the MQTT binding and click Install. The second step is to configure an MQTT broker. Go to Configuration, click Things, then click Add a thing and select MQTT broker. Input the IP address of the broker as well as its port. We need to install the JavaScript transformation add-on which will help us to display the data that we receive from the sensor. Go to add-ons, select transformation and then click install on the JavaScript transformation. Now comes a little bit tricky part because we will be using the terminal. I have developed a couple of JavaScript files which will be used by the JavaScript transformation that we have just installed. Open a terminal and log in remotely to the Raspberry Pi via SSH. After that, go to the appropriate directory and download the two JavaScript files from GitHub. Further details and links are available in the description of the video. Although the default firmware of Anavi Thermometer has been specifically designed for Home Assistant component and OpenHAP supports Home Assistant components, Actually, in this tutorial, we will add the sensor as a generic MQTT thing. Go to Configuration, Things, and then click the plus button to add a new thing. Click the Add Manually button. After that, select Generic MQTT thing, enter the name of the thing, and select the MQTT broker as a bridge. The next step is to add channels through Paper UI. We need two channels, one for temperature and another for humidity. They have similar MQTT topics. Each MQTT topic starts with a word group, which is a variable that is configured at the initial setup of Anavi thermometer, followed by machine ID. The machine ID is an MD5 hash, which is a unique representation of the device. You can obtain the machine ID during the initial setup of Anavi Thermometer or if you have a look at the serial output as soon as you boot Anavi Thermometer. For each channel, we have to set a label and a transformation. The transformation is defined by the files that we have downloaded from GitHub on the previous step. Finally, we have to link the channels to an item that is going to be shown in the control panel. Now it's time for quality assurance. Let's give it a test. Anavit thermometer should appear 
in the control panel of Paper UI of OpenHub 2. Using a hair dryer, I'm going to increase the temperature and decrease the humidity. As you can see, our setup has been successfully configured and Anavi thermometer is reporting data for temperature and humidity obtained from the DHT22 sensor and sending it over MQTT to the broker which is providing it to OpenHub. So far we have been using Paper UI to configure all these things. Actually, the sensor also appears in the basic UI provided by OpenHub. One more thing, I know that a lot of you live in the United States and prefer seeing the temperature in Fahrenheit. In temperature GS file that we've downloaded it from GitHub, there is a variable called Celsius. By default, it is set to true. Just edit the file and set it to false if you would prefer to see the temperature in Fahrenheit in the OpenHub UI. I hope you've enjoyed this video. OpenHub is a great open source platform and it was fun to connect my open source hardware development board Anavi Thermometer to it. I hope this video is useful, so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.